Hey guys, how's it going? So this is a bit Yuba. This is uh, my first 2022 video. And um, I'd like to thank you so much because we recently monetized. So we reached uh, a thousand subscribers and also the watch time hours. So you guys have been watching a lot of videos. Today we're going to do the 2021 paper. Okay, so the meds paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some of the videos on YouTube but then I'm not going to upload all, okay? So if you want to access all the videos, then you have to uh, go to the website, premier.com, and then you'll be able to access all the videos, okay? So the first question, I actually have a, a study a study buddy here who is also doing uh, meds just like you. So it'd be easy if uh, anything is not understandable, okay? So the first question says, um, express 30.098, correct to the nearest, nearest tenth. So when questions on approximation, what you do is you find the digit that they're talking about, okay? So they're talking about the 10th digit. So the 10th digit is the first digit after the, after the comma, okay? So the 10th digit would be the zero here. So you circle it, and then after circling it, then you look at you, uh, the next digit, okay? So the next digit is nine. Nine is greater than five, so we have to round up. So we'd get uh, 30.1, just like this, okay. So also the, the number of marks, they can be helpful. Because if you see one mark, it means the, the steps, there are very few steps to, to the answer, or the answer, it's, uh, it's immediate, okay. So the B part asks us to find, the, to express the same number, but this time correct to four significant figures. When dealing with uh, significant figures, what you do is, you have to identify the first significant figure, okay? So in this case, the first significant figure, it's obvious, it's three. And the first significant figure is the first non-zero digit in a number. If it were 0 0.098, the first non-zero digit would be nine. That would be the second, the first significant figure. You, um, you want to change your, your number, you want to express it to four significant figures. So you'd be looking for the fourth significant figure. In decimals, all numbers, they are significant after the after the all numbers after the first significant figure they are significant so this one will be the first second third then fourth would be this one again we're going to do what we did previously and then just circle and then we will look to the to the next digit here so the next digit is greater than greater than five so we have to round up but then this is nine already so if you round up it becomes ten and then you have to carry forward the, the one here but then you have to put the zero here as a placeholder the reason for this or how you can how you can understand because this one was a tricky question some students would write 30.1 but then that wouldn't be the answer because 30.1 would have only three significant figures you're supposed to have four so you have to put a placeholder here so when you're when you're dealing with uh, these questions one way to go about it is to realize that if they ask you to correct a number to the nearest tenth they want you to write a number the same number but ending to the 10th digit. It's also the same thing here. They want you to have a number that has four significant figures. So if there's three, then you have uh, done wrong, okay? So this is this would be the answer. And then part C, part C, it asks us to express the same number, but then in standard form. So standard form is this form here. So A by 10 to the power N. It's important that you know the valid values for A. So the valid values for A, A should be greater than or equal to 1. So it can be 1 or more than 1. But then it should be less than less than 10. Okay. So it should not be 10. That means this means that this is a strict sign. It means 10 is not included. Okay. But then 1 here is it's it's included. So what, what you do is um you uh here you have 30.098. So your A should be uh, a number after the first significant figure. Okay, so the first significant figure here would be would be three. So you'd be putting a decimal place after the first significant figure. So it'd be 3.098 like this, times 10 to the power n. So you have to ascertain the value of n. Okay. So the value of n, if you if you shift the comma, so here the comma is now here, the decimal point is now here. So if you shift it to the to the left hand side here. One place. If when you're shifting to the left hand side, n has to be positive. Okay. So a left shift means n has to be positive. And it's positive by the number of shifts that you make. So here we're only making one shift. So n has to be positive and it also has to have size one. Okay. 
So this would be 3.098 multiplied by 10 to the power 1. Okay. So this is how you uh, change numbers to, to standard form. You're also supposed to know how to change from standard form to ordinary form. And also addition and subtraction of numbers in standard form. And also multiplication and division. Okay. We can proceed to question 2. So question 2, it says express 4 and 2 over 3. So 4 and 2 thirds as a recurring decimal. Okay. So you're, you're asked to express this as a recurring decimal. So here, the way that you do it is um, the decimal part would be this fraction part here. So what you do in terms of your presentation is to say 4 and 2 over 3 like this is equal to then 4 plus plus 2 over 3 like this. Okay. The reason you want to do this is you don't want to deal with 4 because 4 is it's 4. Yeah, it's, it's a whole number. So it'd be 4 plus. Then you'd be saying uh, 3 into 3 here. You get one okay so if, if you want you can even uh, write it like this then you say three into 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 two then you get zero you get zero so that's why i wrote zero here and then you have to add a zero afterwards okay so it will be now three into twenty three into twenty you get what you get uh six okay up to eight ten yeah. then you're left with two then you have to add zero again then you get what six again up to eight ten then you you live two then you add zero again then you so your number keeps on recurring just like this. So how would you write this? You'd write it as 4 plus. This one you find the repeating, the repeating numbers. Here the repeating numbers, it's a single digit. So when you write this repeating number, you put an over bar. So that's, that, that means that 6 keeps on going on just as 6, okay? So you'd actually have 4 plus uh, 0 0.6, which would be 0.6 over bar like this. Okay, so this is how you draw it, uh, a number as a, as, a recurring, as a recurring decimal. And uh, there are also some, some tricky questions. So they can give you like maybe uh, when you're dividing here, you're getting maybe uh, 0 0.575757. Okay, so you should know how to write this as a recurring uh, decimal number. What you do is you find the digits that are repeating. And when they start to repeat, so they are starting to repeat here. So it's five seven. Five seven is repeating, so you put over bar. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how you express numbers as as uh, recurring decimals. And then the second part, it says uh, uh, find the value of you have ten minus ten divided by two plus two multiplied by two. Okay. So here you use a system. You use a system called Bomdas. Some say Bodmas. It's still the same thing. Okay. I'll, I'll explain shortly. So here you you have these are called brackets. So this this is a hierarchy. This is how you operate. Whenever you we have a myth, this is the order that you follow. Okay, so you should uh, simplify the brackets first. Then all all means orders. Okay, orders thus they are the other name for powers. So you, you simplify the brackets first, and then you simplify the powers. And then this one's uh, it's multiplication. This one is division. This one it's addition. This one is subtraction, okay? So both mass and bomb dust, they are the same thing. Why? Because multiplication and division, they are the same hierarchy. If you multiply first and divide, or if you divide first and then you multiply, you get the same answer. So that's, that's why that's why bomb dust, there is actually PEM dust as well. It's just a, 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 another way to represent the same things, okay? So multiplication and division, same hierarchy, they are the same level. You can start with either. And addition and subtraction, also same hierarchy, you can start with either. So that's why, that's why it's like this. So here you have 10 minus 10 divided by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to, there are no brackets, so we can, we can leave that out. You can also create your own brackets, but then it's not really necessary. You only have one mark here, okay? So if you have one mark, it means don't, don't put too much effort into what you're doing. Because um, uh, they, they, they only give you a mark for the answer. If you can actually, you can just write the answer directly. But then the, that's not advisable, okay? So just show your working. So here yeah, we don't have brackets, we don't have orders. Orders again, that, that means powers. But then we have multiplication. Multiplication is this one. So we're going to simplify that one first. Okay, so 4 plus, and this one it's negative uh, 10 divided by 2, then you have 10 here. Okay, so we have done multiplication. Then we, we need to do division. So we're going to do division here. Uh, there, are, there are two ways to go about doing this division. You can say 10 divided by 2, but then maintain this negative. Or you can just say negative 10 divided by 2, then you get negative 5. It's still the same thing, okay?
here you can start with anything just like what I was telling you so it'd be 10 or uh, subtract 5 then you get 5 then you say plus 4 then you get 9 okay so this is how you uh, go about it so that's uh, that's pretty much it for the questions 1 and 2 okay uh, you join me in the next video where we'll continue from questions 3 and um, I mean and so forth okay so if you again if you're watching from the website then you probably have all the videos logged in we're also doing Shona videos as well for the same paper so if you're watching from from YouTube then you may not have all the videos available okay so thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe you're out